Um, also, it's good to establish a light source, so I'm thinking that the sun's over here, so the shadows are all going to be on that side. Okay. It's always very important, isn't it? I normally put an arrow here or something to remind myself that that's where the sun is. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll leave that to dry for a bit and then we'll come back and we'll find a bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to use burnt umber and a bit of ultramarine for darker areas. Start by just using the plain burnt umber and we'll then mix some of the burnt umber into it, that ultramarine into it. I'm just trying to get that really dark um, colour up here in the corner of the mm -hmm. eye. I'm just trying to preserve the white bits as well. Um, I do use a bit of white gouache. Well, need be. It's looking like a kookaburra. Once you get this bit in there, it always it changes the whole look. And it's that little feather coming across the top of the eye. So it gives it a bit of, I don't know, personality almost. Sure. You didn't have that there and just, yeah. Some of them go all the way up over the top of the head. This one here has just got a tiny bit, so individuals. This is quite a dry mix when you think about it. Uh, nothing like the background. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's just enough to let it flow properly without making it drag. Sure. So that bit there I used a lot more water. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get these little fine feather detail in here. Sure. I think I'll go back into it with a bit of gouache to pick out these white bits. Uh-huh, okay. Yep. So uh, can you tell the viewers what, what gouache is? Gouache is an opaque watercolour. Mm-hmm. So um, some purists will not never use it, but I find it, find it very good to, use, you know, to get the detail in the feathers. Sure. Mm -hmm. That whole area, even though it's white, it's not really you can pick up much white or other colours. And because the light's coming in that way, I'm going to put a bit more dark on this end. I'm just using quite a wet wash just to vary the colours a bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe put a little bit of brown on the end where it could be even the dead bit. And just all with the one brush there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. If you look at nature, most leaves aren't perfect. There's yeah. always some something eaten out of the leaf. So I'm just going to um, work on the wing now. So I'll okay. give, the, give the wash. I'll be doing two sections since it sort of sure. looks like it's two sections there. Okay, that's a, that's a good idea. I'm going to use a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine. Burnt umber and ultramarine. A bit of yellow in as well. So down here it's quite dark in the shadow, and up there would be just mainly the burnt umber. Um, mm -hmm. Let's just I'm still using the number six brush, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you seem to be able to get quite a lot done with that. Rich chocolate brown, isn't it? Yes. Just going to try and get a bit darker on the edges there. And that sort of, well, as you were saying, that uh, that moisture in that paper it looks like it'll stay around for a, a little while. It's um, play with it a bit, yes. Yeah. Because on a summer's day, you wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Just going to lift a little bit out to give some freshness and feathers there. Okay. Look at that. So you're just you're just drawing the brush. Yes, just a wiping so on a towel okay, here. So you're wiping on a towel, okay. Sort of blending back in a bit, isn't it? But, um, we'll go back later on and put the uh, blue bits in with a bit of gouache. Okay. Uh -huh. It's 
Jim, you can see them, huh? Just. Yeah. <laughs> I would prefer that a bit thinner, but anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always using that water to spur it along. That's right. Try to make it look round as possible. <laughs> nice and round. Feet can be all different colours, and that one they're sort of a browny colour, and this one they're more grey. I'm just trying to do it so it's um, so the mid range car will make it look like it wrapping around the branch so it doesn't fall off. All right, I'm just going to use some gouache now, some white gouache, just mm -hmm. to put, go back into this bit and put the little blue bits in. Okay, you can leave it white um, when you do it, which it does work out better, but it's just a matter of how much time you want to spend on it. Sure. <laughs> this is a quick way to put them in later on. You say that's gouache? That's it, yeah. That's the um, opaque watercolour. Mm Just an impression of it. Yeah. And, um... It's wonderful. Okay. Well, I think that that looks quite amazing. Well, well as you can see, Kath's. Um, we've spent the last two days with Kath and. She's produced this great picture of uh, one of our iconic symbols, the kookaburra. And uh, this is what can be achieved in watercolour. As Kath obviously said, there are more, uh, more things that you could put into this. But you know, to get a result like that with, uh, with only you know, probably six or seven hours work is actually quite good. So how do you feel about it? Yeah, good. I'll put a little bit more detail in it, but yeah, it's pretty close to finished. So I'll just give you guys a quick look. So the artist and the bird. Well, the bird that did the bird. <laughs> it looks, it looks great, Tony. And uh, thanks very much for being on Color in Your Life. We'll yes. have to get back at some stage and see if we can't uh, uh, do some oil paints with you, which I know that you're very keen to do, particularly around the wildlife. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, that's what can be created. So tune in next time. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next time is we're off to see a gentleman called Robert Toddenade, and uh, Robert lives just outside Mwollomba in a castle, funnily enough. And uh, Rob's actually very well known for painting um, Speed on Tweed, which is all the old racing cars, the town. He's, his work is just extraordinary. So um, tune in and we'll take it from there. But thanks very much for looking in, guys. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed doing a kookaburra with uh, Cat Castle. And until next time, remember, make sure you put some colour in your life. We'll see you next, next time we do the series.